Right, okay, this is a very simple and straightforward uh, review of a product that sounds really good, performs really good, feels really good, and it's got a decent price point. It makes a change, doesn't it? What's your space? You see, when I buy a set of irons, one of the big deals for me is how they sound and how they feel. And I'm generally swayed towards the likes of Mizuno to find my sort of solution, if you like, for the irons that I like to play. The problem with the likes of some of the irons forged in particular, they carry a bit of a hefty price tag. And it's nice to see that something that has arrived on the marketplace is a cast iron, feels as good as forged, but is also priced a damn sight better. Now the iron in question comes from those people there. It's from Callaway, it's from their new lineup of Rogue irons. And interestingly enough, it doesn't come from the Rogue Max lineup, which is the sort of the category that is, uh, well, it's for the, the masses, I suppose, for most average golfers. But I'm suggesting you look at the opposite end of the spectrum and consider the Rogue ST Pro. Yeah, they call it the Pro lineup. They say it's for mid to low handicappers, and I say otherwise. You see, one of my bugbears that I have with manufacturers, they categorize iron via sort of handicap sectors. And in this case, mid to low handicappers would be drawn towards the Rogue Pro lineup, and let's say mid to high handicappers are pushed towards the sort of game improvement, or almost super game improvement, iron and profile of the Max. What I'm telling you is this, I've tested the Pro and the Max out this morning. I don't find one more forgiving than the other. And there are performance benefits from the Pro that should make this the iron from the masses. What I want to know from you in the comment section below is because the iron has already been pigeonholed into a category in terms of handicap, if you sit outside of that handicap section, are you already put off and don't even give these clubs a try? Because I reckon you're making a big mistake if that's what you do. And I really wish I, uh, manufacturers would stop categorizing irons via handicap sector. I know it makes sense to a degree, but they've made their pro lineups in this case so much more playable that I reckon most golfers should be giving these a try. Now in terms of the way these irons look, first of all Callaway have done an incredible job in this sort of, uh, what is a really competitive sector? It's a hollow bodied iron. And as we know, the likes of the P790s, the P770s, we've got the HMB lineup or the new Mizuno Pro lineup, the 225s. It's an incredibly uh, competitive sector. So first of all, they've got an iron that looks really well in terms of shelf appeal, in my opinion. In terms of how it sits with the top line, it's sort of, I would say, let's say average, sits in the middle. It's not your blade, it's not a super game improvement iron. I'd say that about the sole. In fact, if I was comparing it in terms of profile, I'd liken it very much to the sort of P790. What they've done, it's a very clean iron. It's got a lot of chrome on there. It looks very attractive and it looks like a player's iron. It looks like an iron that I think the majority of golfers would want to play. And I'm going to keep ranting this home. I reckon you can play and we'll show that in performance very, very soon. But in terms of shelf appeal, how it looks, absolutely fantastic job from Callaway. But there is one thing that surprises me so much and more so than I've ever been in reviewing irons since I've started and hopefully you already picked it up from that shot there and it's the way these clubs sound and feel. I'm not sure what Callaway have done. They have these sort of um, urethane microspheres is it they call it. It's the fabric that's used inside of the club head to dampen sound. They've moved it a little bit further up the club face, a little bit more of that packed in there. There's plenty of tungsten in there, up to 48 grams, which again is a significant leap up in terms of from the original Maverick line, which this has moved on from. So there's big enhancements there in terms of what they've done inside of the club head. But like I said, whatever they've done in terms of sound and feel, urethane microspheres, whatever that is, it does an incredible job. It's very much a muted sound. It's the closest thing I've ever heard to a sort of forged iron sound and feel in a cast iron head. It's incredible. It's so, so good. I'm amazed at how good these things feel. And I liken this to the P790 and the P770. All those hollow body irons have one issue for me. They claim to be forged, but they always have a very clicky sort of sound to them. A bit, they have a hollow sound to them. This is not a forged iron head, but for whatever they've done and whatever reason, it sounds better, in my opinion, than that of the P790s, the P770s. It is so, so good. I am shocked on every level with this club, really am. And uh, we now need to see 
with all those boxes ticked, how does it do in terms of performance? Okay, now the other important factor of this, uh, the Callaway Rogue lineup full stop is their price point. I often get, for the last couple of years, it's all been complaints about price hikes that we've seen. The recent release from Ping, the i525, probably the epitome of that in terms of just how high pricing has become for irons. Now, one thing I'm really impressed with and would applaud is Callaway's pricing structure for this lineup in terms of these Rogue irons. So the Rogue Max lineup, you're looking around 115 a club in Great British Pounds, and for the Rogue Pro, 120 a club. Now put that into some kind of perspective, if you look at the TaylorMade P790, retails around 160 per iron, 40 pound a club is a considerable difference. We've not seen anything suggest there's been any let up in terms of the quality of the manufacturing either to achieve that price point. So a massive thumbs up is the price of this product, not only in terms of how it looks, but how it's performing and how good it sounds and feels. It ticks all round for Callaway right now. I hope you can pick up some kind of audio there to sort of let you know how good this thing sounds. Unfortunately, in today's video, I only have access to a 7 iron, and I'll be asking Callaway for some further samples in the shorter end, but in particular, I'd like to see this in the longer end of the bag and just how easy it is to play at sort of maybe the 5 iron as being my longest uh, iron that I would consider putting in the bag. But so far, from the 7 iron numbers, you can see very, very consistent in terms of the carry distance. Dispersion left to right, that's down to an individual's performance, but you can see how, how I've done this morning, as I would always do. I think we sprayed about a little bit, but in terms of the spin number, again, really impressive where this sits in terms of the spin number, also the descent angle. It really does tick every box. And again, pretty easy swinging from me. Launches the ball really nice and easily. Just all the kind of ball flight characteristics that I'd want to see from a top class iron. This thing does really, really well. And like I said, sits really neat at address and sounds incredibly well. I don't want to say any more than that. I could sort of, I think you get the idea of my opinion on it. I'm perhaps a little bit shocked at just how good this thing is and how good it performs. But maybe I'm on a decent morning, maybe I'm in the centre of the club face, maybe all the stars have aligned. So the thing for me is always, I want your feedback. This has been in a lot of the stores for you to try. Have you tried it? Just how good do you think it is? And have I uh, just woke up the bed in a really happy mood this morning? What is it that I like so much about this? Can you confirm whether I am right or have I got this wrong? Anyway, as ever, Thank you for watching. Keep an eye out for plenty more videos. Don't forget, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, hit that subscribe button, notifications bell, comment down below, hit the like. See you later.